Look, we back again, man. This time gonna be a little different. We gonna give y'all something real special. Stay tuned, you know what it is. Up the energy, one more notch, let's go, man! Dice on me, dice on three, one, two, three! Dice. Thrilling win in Tennessee last Sunday. The New York Giants start the season 1-0 for the first time in six years. This team walked away from a 21-20 victory against the Titans in a game that saw this new era on full display for the rest of the league to see. If you're waiting around to see the difference in this era from the last 10 years, you didn't have to wait long. All week, we heard how Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans were going to run the ball on the Giants' throw. And the Giants were headed to another 0-1, 0-2, or 0-6 start to the season. But reality kicked in. This isn't last year or last decade's Giants. The game-changing two-point conversion call by Brian Dable was the biggest message sent to this team and the rest of this league that this team has balls of steel and willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody on this schedule. What was the last time you saw the Giants go for the kill, to go in for the fucking victory and not play for the tie. This defense shut down Henry and allowed this offense to feed the ball to Saquon Barkley. But when it was time to step up, when it was time to lead this team down the field, Daniel Jones, whether you like it or not, stepped up to the fucking moment. Despite a fumble and a red zone interception by Daniel Jones, the evidence that this is a new era and a new regime was clear in a matter of seconds. You saw Coach Dable walk over on that sidelines and get in the face and get in the ear of his star quarterback and tell him, that shit's not gonna fly. And the response from Daniel Jones was exactly what you want out of a franchise quarterback. He didn't lay down and die, he didn't put his head down, he got on the field, and when it was time, he took that ball and led this team down the field. We're not perfect, we're not gonna make it pretty, but every single team on this schedule is gonna find out if you're gonna walk away with a victory, you better fucking earn it! The win last Sunday put the rest of this league on notice. Sorry about your fucking luck. The New York Football Giants are back, whether you like it or not. The scenes in the locker room post-game after this victory tell the whole story of a team that has rallied around their new head coach, and a new regime willing to lay it all on the field for 60 minutes. 
for the first time in a long time, we're watching this team quarter by quarter define their identity and define who they are. But last week is last week. This Sunday, the Carolina Panthers come into our house for a sellout crowd at MetLife. It's been a long time since these fans had a reason to get up and get loud and proud for the New York Giants. But if you're standing in that crowd on Sunday, get the fuck up, make some noise, and let them hear it. No matter who suits up for the Giants on Sunday, the Panthers are walking into the wrong house at the wrong time. We're 60 minutes away from starting this season 2-0 with our entire destiny in our hands. Ride this momentum and knock these Panthers the fuck out. Giants fans, get up. You have every reason this Sunday to bleed blue for the New York football Giants. No matter what they say about the Giants, no matter how much noise is out there talking about this team, we don't give a fuck. In 60 minutes, you're going to believe in the New York football Giants or get the fuck out of the way. This Sunday, we're making a statement in our house. Believe in it. No mercy. Fuck them up. Let's go.